Hello, watch fans. Berthier watches here, a little subdued and a little bit in awe of this watch. 2008 Omega Constellation. Now, this is the coaxial chronometer, so it's an automatic where most of these are quartz. It's with the rose gold and the three quarter link bracelet. 11 subtle diamonds for hour markers. Exhibition case back showing off that movement. And this, it says here, 160 years, was made to celebrate the 160th anniversary of Amiga watches coming into production. So they threw everything at it. Condition is fantastic. There's a few little scratches on the inside of the bracelet. If that is going to bother you, then why are you looking at used watches? You'd have to go and buy a new one. And you can go and buy a new one. This isn't that old. It was bought on condition and looks more than anything else, rather than it being a vintage watch. It's not vintage yet. You can go buy a new one with diamonds on the dial, in the bimetal finish, without it being this special edition, and it's just shy of £10,000. This is the special edition, but it's second hand. So you're looking at a considerable amount less than the 10 grand you would need to go into an Amiga boutique and get one. How much less? Well, you have to check the website. There is a comment in the pinned, there is a link in the pinned comment. So many of these were available quite cheaply a few years ago, the Constellation, these Manhattan ones. And that was because people didn't want the 32mm, 33mm case. They didn't particularly want quartz then. Well, you're not. You've got Amiga's top of the end, top end coaxial chronometer rated movement, automatic. There's no gold plating on this. It's all gold. Those diamonds are subtle, but they are nice. You know, it's not iced out. It's just subtle bling. This is the sort of last of the line of these with these what they call thin claws. These claws would actually mirror the things to hold mirrors on. They were inspired by that and on the early models you could actually take them off and that's how you took the glass out. Now they're for decoration and on the later watches they're much thicker. This is just before they changed that. Really rather a special watch and I'm happy to be able to share it with you. You can see more on this beaut if you head to berthierwatches.com and the easiest way to get there is to click that link in the pinned comment. Thanks for watching.